Um, it was a great play by CP. I think, you know, the call we had on, uh, have multiple options across the board, but saw it was going to be man-to-man -man coverage with an opportunity for, for him on the sideline. He ran a great route and made a, great, a, a really good catch. And so, uh, as he's done all year, you know, at, at different times, he stepped up, made a huge play for us. Uh, and then as you're running down the field, are you, you know, you hyped? I don't know if you got hit on that play, but you're like, oh, man, that's the way we're going to do this. I felt good, you know, I felt, I felt pretty good after that one. Uh, my mind always immediately goes to what's next and the situation that's next. And so um, I was excited. We needed to make a play. We needed to win that game. And uh, proud of the guys for getting the job done. Well, this, this, when this, the other three wins were against, you know, teams that were kind of losing records, how big was this one over a team that came in here five and two and are in second place in the division? They're all big, you know. It's it's hard, regardless of, of who you're going against in this league. It's hard to win, and um, you know this is a tough place. I've played here a, a, a lot, and um, you know know how difficult it is to, to win in this environment. And I'm proud of the guys because it's a it's a hard earned win. Can you feel like you? Once the Saints took the lead, what's the mindset there as you guys find yourself down and needing a play? Yeah, let's go win the game. You know, let's find a way to get the job done. There was a minute, I think, in two seconds or something like that, uh, and we had two timeouts. So plenty of time. We need a field goal to go win. Uh, just figure out a way to get the job done. You said you got the matchup you were looking for? Yeah, for sure. Man-to-man -man coverage uh, in that last situation. We have multiple guys across the board at that point. It's just about feeling like, you know, picking, picking the best one. We felt like that was, and uh, it worked out for us. CP made a great play. Why do you feel like you? Well, I've, I've been lucky to play with great players, you know, through, throughout my career. And, and I think that helps when you got guys you can trust and, and, and players that can go up and make plays in, and win one on one matchups. I think that part has has really helped. And then you know, I work hard during the week to get myself prepared and, you know, to try and you know put myself through every scenario that's going to come up in the game so that when it comes up, I feel like I'm ready for it. Is there something that can be a mental thing for you, too, because you have that experience? Like, it's like it, does that switch off when you go somewhere? I just try and do the same thing I'm always doing. You know, I, I, I don't try and overcomplicate it. I, I really feel like, you know, the, the longer you play, the more you realize, let's keep things simple. You know, let's, let's hear the play call, let's know the coverage, let's know our matchup that we want to throw it, and let's make a good throw. Uh, don't make it any more difficult than it needs to be. Are you having conversations with Arthur during the game about, you know, maybe come back to this one. I, I saw this here, maybe think about coming back to this one. Does that happen throughout the course of the game? Yeah, absolutely. You know, constant dialogue, um, you know, throughout the game. And, you know, I, I'm, I'm pretty much, you know, locked into what's being called. And sometimes I'll have a suggestion or something like that. But he's always coming over to check in with those things. Did that happen with this play? Cordero said you had run it on the first series. Did, did you mention at any point, maybe come back to this one? Well, he told me that's what we were starting with. I said, all right, I'm good with it. You know, he a lot of time he asked me, do you feel good with, with this or you feel good with that? I liked it. Yeah, we hit it to CP, I think, on the first third down of the game. So, uh, you know, if it's not broke, don't fix it, all right? Just keep going back to the same thing. You put together, uh, go ahead. Uh, you put together uh, two of the four longest drives of the season back to back here. What, uh, what kind of rhythm was that offense in that? Yeah, I thought that was, was good. I thought the one right before the half, you know, you talk about, I think it was, were we on the five maybe coming out? Something like that? Eight? Yeah. Uh, the eight yard line coming out. And so to do that before the half, to finish it with the touchdown, I thought that was, uh, was huge for us. But it's about, you know, with this defense, you know it's going to be tough sledding at times. There's going to be negative plays. You have to create explosives. You have to con uh, try and convert third downs. I thought we did a pretty good job of that. Obviously, you probably like to have every game being 31 10, but is the way that this team's won games this year, can that be a team's identity? For sure. You know, uh, you are what you repeatedly do. And so uh, when you find ways to get the job done, uh, you're a team that finds ways to get the job done. And so, uh, We'd all like it, like you said, to be, to be easier, you know, 31-10. But in this league, it, it's just not that way very often, you know. And you got to find ways to win these one-score games. And uh, we've been, you know, decent at it this year. I think we can continue to improve, and hopefully, that's going to be the case for us as we move forward. Has there been a team that you can think of that you were on, where you felt like maybe that became the identity? Yeah, 
I mean, lots of them. You know, I think the teams that end up with good records, the ones that make playoffs, are the ones that find ways late in games to win. Uh, I've been on, you know, a number of those teams. Do you feel like there is a growing um, uh, belief from the guys um, uh, around you in those fourth quarter um, situations that, hey, like you guys can do this? It's, it's not just you telling them, it's them really um, uh, wanting. Yeah, I think, you know, success breeds success. And, and when you do it, you know, you start believing that you can do it. And I think that's huge um, for a lot of our, our guys. We have a young football team uh, and, and a lot of guys, you know, who it's either their first or second year uh, really going through this. And, and um, you know, last year was such a strange year with COVID and everything like that, that you didn't have environments like this to play in. And I think that, you know, for, for a lot of those guys, uh, this is their first, you know, real time going through it, and and you have to, you know, adapt and adjust. And so I do believe when when you go through it and you start getting some success and you start making the plays that you need to make, uh, it breeds confidence. Do you have a little Stetson Bennett in you? Or you look like he wants to run into the, the score there. I guess that's two rushing touchdowns now. I mean, I, maybe Stetson Bennett has a little of me in him, huh? <laughs> I've been doing this, been running in some touchdowns for a long time. Yeah. Um, that is, uh, that is something you need more for the future. Than I feel good. You know, I feel like I've always uh, moved, you know, well enough. Um, I feel like, you know, outside the pocket has been a big part of my game since I was a rookie. You know, Mike Malarkey, it was a lot of what we did early in my career. We continued that, you know, through Kyle and Sark and, and those guys. So it's always been, you know, part of what I do. I think at different times, you know, you got to make plays moving, moving, you know, the chains with your legs, and I feel like I can do it well enough. Last one. Matt, that was a uh, game-winning drive 41 for you. When you are in that kind of situation with a chance to drive for a winning score, do you have something you like to say in the huddle beforehand? Is it normal, same as always? Is it kind of tailored to the situation? Yeah, I think you just tell the guys, you know, we're going to get the job done. Believe we're going to go out there and get the job done and just do whatever it is you have to do on each specific play really well. That's all you got to do. You know, whatever we're asking you to do, whether it's protection, your route, uh, my read, whatever that is, let's do it really well and uh, believe that we're going to get the job done. Awesome. Oh, OG's coming in next. Thank you. Okay. Thank you.